Science Bug is a hands-on science programme for kids from year one to year six, one of our many resources you now have free access to. Covering the national curriculum from year one to year six, Science Bug offers a complete science scheme of work. There are six units per year group, each with six lessons. Science Bug uses short, carefully supported activities to teach fundamental concepts, encourage investigation, and to discover how science makes sense of our world. We offer a suggested route through the curriculum, but it's up to you what order you teach and, how, and when you teach those topics. We suggest you look at the Getting Started Guide before you get started, which is available on the, the planning page. This explains how the resources work, where everything is. It also includes how to's and admin guides for teachers to get most, the most from the resources. To best support the range of pupils you have who will be learning at home during this period, we suggest that Science Bug is ideal as a virtual lesson resource, perhaps from the classrooms you're still teaching in via video technology. The detailed lesson plans and clear resources are written for non-specialists in a school. They will help to teach all aspects of primary science and ensure that all children get a high quality education, whatever the availability of resources in a school and wherever the kids are learning. This makes Science Bug the ideal resource for these unprecedented circumstances, as whatever the home's context, we have online models of experiments and clear instructions for using simple in, exper, uh, equipment for completing activities. We have equipment lists for each year group. This is visible at the bottom of the planning page. You can also go straight to the resources you need from the resources tab and find exactly what you're looking for using a range of search criteria and put them together into your own sequence or unit for learning. It's reasonable to expect that not all families will be able to ensure parental supervision while you're teaching, so think about when you schedule hands-on activities and how to manage younger children. Perhaps one small part of a lesson is enough for a home learning context. 15 minutes of online learning is probably the limit for children in Key Stage 1 before some movement or practical activity. So use the breaks in the lesson plans for kids to move around. Older kids might be able to engage for much longer, so remember to give them time to talk to each other as many of the science bug activities depend on children testing their hypotheses with their peers. Consider writing up activities as a shared writing activity as printing will not be available to all or most families. We'd love to hear how else you've used Science Bug during this unusual situation and are open to feedback and ideas about how we can help you better to support the children you teach and care for.